Good morning. Look at this gorgeous sunrise in Springfield. Beautiful bright oranges. It's 46 degrees out there right now on some west and northwest winds at 7 miles per hour. Some clouds are filling in from the south this morning and we'll keep that trend through the afternoon. Temperatures not starting out too bad. It's 46 degrees in Springfield, 45 in Branson and a pair of fours in West Plains this morning. Uh, a plus day all around uh, guys. We'll have temperatures around 60 degrees with a few clouds still mild by dismissal and a really nice day out there today. Again, we'll just have maybe a few more clouds today than we did yesterday. Mostly clear tonight with temperatures at 36 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, mild and really nice again. 63 for that high. So quiet the next couple of days. We'll be a little bit cooler on Friday as a cold front comes through dry. We'll have some north winds. So temperatures go into the middle 50s, but that's still about average for this time of year. Temperatures go back into the 60s by the weekend and into early next week. So again, we're just tracking a couple of more clouds today uh, with a storm passing to our south. A storm passes to the north and east through the Great Lakes on Friday, so things will be a little bit cooler then. We'll be mild and dry through most of the work week with our next rain chance not until Sunday night and into Monday. This weekend, the clocks also go forward as daylight saving time begins. Test the smoke alarms and the no weather radios while you're checking those clocks. You lose an hour of sleep, but the sun sets an hour later by Monday we're looking at a sunset after 7 p.m. Joe Warren. Color 10 is your local election headquarters, and on Super Tuesday, we had 14 states casting ballots, including Arkansas. Plenty of votes cast for who people would want to see on the ballot in November. On the GOP side of things, no surprises as President Donald Trump wins each state and is now less than 500 delegates away from winning the nomination. Over on the Democratic side, it was not as straightforward, but two front runners did rise above everyone else. Out of the 14 states, former Vice President Joe Biden has been declared the winner of nine, including Texas. Senator Bernie Sanders has won three. Two states are still too close to call. One is Maine, the other is California, which has 415 delegates up for grabs. We also want to break down Arkansas specifically for you. With all precincts reporting, Joe Biden has been declared the winner on the Democratic ballot. That's coming in with 41% of the vote here. Bernie Sanders follows Biden receiving 22, and then Michael Bloomberg down here with 17%. Elizabeth Warren coming in with 10%. Now remember, any candidate who receives more than 15% of the vote, so we're we're talking Bloomberg and up, mm -hmm. we'll get some of those Arkansas delegates. That's right. And for the Republicans, with almost all precincts reporting, not exactly a surprise. President Donald Trump, 97% of the vote that he's taking home in Arkansas. Parts of Arkansas also were not just voting for their preferred president. Four state house races also up for grabs on the GOP side. So in House District 100, Nelda Speaks is projected as the winner here with 57% of the vote to just 43% from Evan. We had a three-person race for House District 90. Jenna De La Rosa gets 1,500 votes, just over 1,500, winning with 43%. That is with 100% of the precincts reporting there. Also, all precincts reporting as Scott Richardson wins House District 91, coming in with 44% of the votes. That is over Delia Hake as well as Jorge Becker. And in the closest race of these four that we're breaking down for you, John Carr defeats Adrian Woods by, look at this, less than 100 votes. 52% to 48. This is the race for Arkansas State House District 94. Now, there's also a focus on Missouri's primary, which is less than a week away. But Bernie Sanders supporters gathered here in Springfield to see how the Vermont senator would perform last night. Sanders actually opened a local office in downtown Springfield last week, and the group organized a watch party event at Coyotes. Vicki Kepling is running for a Missouri House seat in Springfield's District 135 and was there. She's saying that late push against Sanders that happened a few days Days ago with all those candidates dropping out and endorsing Joe Biden is really working against Bernie right now. I think the system needs to be very careful. And what I mean by that is Bernie inspires the youth. And so any time that people work against Bernie, which has happened on several different levels, DNC, you know, the whole Bloomberg thing. Um, but any time that happens, any time we squash the enthusiasm of our youth, I think it's a huge problem. So do we want people to get involved and to come out and vote? or do we want them to stay at home? Missouri is among six states voting in primaries on March 10th. And remember, if you go out to vote there, you'll be required to choose a party to vote with. 
We move on now to put crime into focus for you. A Missouri man facing a felony charge in the murder of an Ozark County man is due in court for a plea hearing today. He's 24-year-old Michael Smith and originally charged with first-degree murder that has since been reduced to first-degree conspiracy to commit robbery. Smith and two others were arrested and charged after 73-year-old Lawrence Brostet was found dead in his home back in 2018. Smith's attorney says he will be pleading in federal court coming up later on today. We also have education coverage for you. Missouri State Hospitality students are gaining real-world experience before even graduating. Color 10's Nigel McDonald stopped by the campus to see what's going on and what went into opening day operations at Carrie's Cafe. Nigel. Well, good morning, Lauren and Joe. Carrie's Cafe is a student-managed restaurant at Missouri State. The students design the menu, prepare and serve the food, and even market the restaurant. MSU senior Elijah Sellers says he's the first in his family to pursue a career in hospitality. Sellers says each semester the cafe offers a different menu created by the current students. He says their menu focuses on Asian culture and includes items like a Thai steak sandwich. Sellers says the hands-on experience he's receiving is invaluable. It's a great time to really put your foot in the door and see if you really do like the environment or not of, uh, you know, food and beverage. I like being on my feet all the time. I like, um, you know, the back and forth between employee and customer, employer and employee. Well, Carrie's Cafe is located on MSU's campus and is open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1130 in the morning until 1 p.m. All right. Thank you, Nigel. We're looking at what's trending. You know what's happening. It's all Super Tuesday that oh, yeah, we're elections, talking about. Elections, elections, elections. But an interesting scene that happened in California yesterday. Joe Biden really fighting for that state. Mm -hmm. Protesters Stop, take the stage in the middle of Joe Biden's speech in L.A. They had signs that said, let dairy die. Security guards and campaign personnel had to take care of two women. But this video goes on. You're going to see someone else intervene here. That's his wife, Jill Biden, who pushed some of those protesters off the stage before more help got there. Important to note, no Secret Service on hand as the former vice president and his family lose their Secret Service help 16 months after they leave the White House. Huh? I didn't know that. But hey, Dr. Jill Biden is taking care of it, right? <laughs> <We're> <laughs> still, yeah. We're still tracking Super Tuesday results as well. California is still some Something that's too close to call between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, but a new way of voting actually is indicating that this might take a couple of weeks to resolve. And you said this is because it's a new rule where people in California, they can vote in whichever district they happen to be in at the time, and it will still count right. as opposed to needing to vote in your specific polling place. That's right. So it's, uh, it's but one thing we're getting out of this, uh, regardless of the California results, Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders is really becoming a race between those two. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. as we get those results from California, it's important to remember none of these states are winner takes all necessarily. Right. As long as someone, a candidate gets 15 percent of voters, they will get some delegates toward the nomination. That is right. Okay, and Miss Nigel McDonald, today is an important day for you. Tell us what we're celebrating. Yes, today is my one-year anniversary at Color 10. <laughs> so I'm so excited and happy to we be here. We got studio <laughs> applause for you. We got all this. I'm so this excited and happy to be here in the Ozark. So some more years of telling stories for people here in the community. Of course. We're happy to have you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ozark's Fox AM is celebrating something special too. So don't forget <laughs> to switch over to them uh, in just a few minutes. Not yeah. quite yet. One last check of our forecast though before we go. Really nice out there. 60 degrees by dismissal, mostly sunny and mild. Seven days still pretty quiet through about Saturday. All right, everyone, thank you so much for starting your morning off with Daybreak.